it just to me just makes the hairstyle playful, fun, cute, just extra. Look at this compared to this. But tell me which side you like this. I like my edges laid, slay, fried dye laid to the side. Hey y'all, this is All of Destiny. In this video, I will be sharing with you all exactly how I lay and slay my edges. So I'm using the Even New York 24 hour edge timer. This one is the Ultra Super Hold. And I'll also be using my Red by Kiss Edge brush. Get you one of these. It has a comb on one end, more bristles on the other end. We don't use toothbrushes anymore. Upgrade, sweetie, this is only two bucks. So I'm gonna take some of the product on my finger and just apply that to my hair. Sometimes I dip the bristles or I dip the brush straight into the product, but it kind of makes the bristles a little stiff. So it just depends. It depends on your mood, what you wanna do. But you can always wash the, um, the bristle end out whenever I need to kind of clean it from product. I just wash it with whatever shampoo I'm using at the time and voila, clean edge brush. So the way that I'm doing this, I'm kind of like swooping my hair. Um, I take note of where my temples are because I really like that to be like defined and swoopy and cute. And I know that everyone will lay their edges differently or baby hairs. I don't really want to get too much off the focus of trying to lay the hair between just differentiating words. So edges, baby hairs, whatever you like to call them. I don't want to focus too much on that. I just want to teach you how to swoop your edges or lay them because I've been getting comments from you all saying that you all have purchased the edge brush in the same edge timer that I use all the time but you wanted me to show you specifically how I use it so yeah let's focus on that not the terminology so I also like to kind of do like this little swoopy motion towards the end uh near my ears sometimes I do this sometimes I don't it just depends the edges for me is really like a playful type of thing with your hairstyle and it definitely makes it look more complete as you all saw in the beginning my puff was yeah it was cute but this is gonna really make it like mm, 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 mm. so I'm just continuing to take product also note when I'm using the comb how I kind of follow with my finger and I kind of like press and swoop press and swoop and then I take the edge of the comb and that really helps me to define the edges further if you're gonna have an updo type of style definitely go in behind your ear uh, at the back, near the nape, all of that. Like, you don't want the front just kind of slightly laid and then the back is like, ooh, oh my God, ooh. I have a widow's peak, so I'm definitely going to lay and slay it as well. Comment down below, by the way. Let me know if you have a widow's peak. I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone. So I'm just gonna swoop that as well. I'm using the comb to do that. I like the comb side and then I'll alternate with using the brush just to touch it up even further because I feel that using that comb, it really combs all of the hair into place and then you go back behind it with the brush to kind of define it and swoop and swoop and just lay. So I'm taking out some more of the hair on the other side and I'm just gonna like kind of do the same thing, just swoop it. And you can also use this product to slick your hair like directly straight back if you want. Um, it's just your preference on how you want your edges to look. And again, I'm laying the back as well. Sometimes I get my dad to line my hair in the back. Sometimes I don't. Either way, you just want to make sure that it's nice and sleek, especially if your hair is going to be up. You don't want it to be like, oh my God, in the back. Like, make sure it's like lay, like slay, like what I say. Don't play. My edges says stay out the way. <laughs> This is my fifth time doing this voiceover, so whatever I say, we rolling with it this time. So I wanted to go ahead and perfect my little swoops a little further. I'm going to take some of my softy styling gel, and I'm just going to dip my brush straight into that. The gel is a little more mm, gel-like <laughs> than the tamer, so I can kind of work with it more. It really just swing my edges and just throw them around and make them do, I don't know, backflips if I want them to. So I'm just showing you all that you can kind of make that little swoop go forward. You can make it go back. Your hairstyle, like, not, that's not what I wanted to say. Your edges, it's like an art. Laying your edges is an art. Like, I need a French accent to say this right now, and that's terrible. Oh, my God. But, wee oui, wee, oui, mademoiselle, mwah. So, yeah, just kind of slicking them. I feel like they should have pictures of edges hanging up in, like, quiet little art museums that you go to. 
and you just kind of walk through and look and be quiet. I think I was trying to get a thumbnail at that point. So to really make it lay and slay and perfect them, you can tie it down, let it sit a while, marinate your edges. This is like setting your makeup. Also, with this being 24-hour edge tamer, you're not going to have to go back in and retouch up your edges all throughout the day. I find when sometimes when I'm in the beauty supply store, people are like, what are you using for your edges? And I show them, and they're like, seven bucks. Yeah, it only costs like seven bucks, depending. But I'm like, I mean, get the dollar one if you want, but you're probably going to have to use it like 10 times. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. Definitely check out my other video if you want to see how I got my little puff. It'll be in my description box below as well. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching. These are the type of styles you come up with when it's like, I don't really feel like doing them, but small amount of this. Look at that curl over there, girl. The bigger the hair, it makes them stare. So if you want them staring, use this. Make it lay, make it slay. What I say, don't play. Big Puff says stay out the way, like. <laughs>